I'm Claudio Dente from Dentec Safety Specialists. I'm here today on April 21st, uh, 2021. Uh, we are in the third wave of COVID and uh, it's taken a great toll on uh, us all emotionally and physically. And I'm here today to show an experiment. I wanted to explain to you um, the type of sealing properties that you'll get from different types of respirators with and without an exhalation valve. So let me show you what we have here. We have a vape uh, that I'm going to use to show um, the smoke and how it comes out of the mask. And we have a variety of different types of uh, face masks and coverings and respirators. Uh, we have a three-ply surgical mask. We have an N95 um, disposable respirator without an exhalation valve. Uh, and it's a flat fold style. We have one of the Dentec brand uh, cup shape uh, disposable N95 respirators, as you can see here with an exhalation valve. We have another um, AD5 um, Comfort Ease disposable respirator without an exhalation valve. Then we have our Comfort Air 400 series uh, respirator, reusable half mask with an exhalation valve and we have N95 filters mounted to it. And then finally, we have our new Comfort Air NX MD uh, respirator without an exhalation valve, and we have N95 filters mounted to it. I'm gonna ask the camera to zoom in on me, and let me know when you feel comfortable there, give me a nod. Okay, I'm gonna take um, a puff, and let's see what happens. I have a level three ASTM certified mask, uh, surgical mask. Let's see what happens conducting that same smoke test. As you can see, smoke exits the mask in, mask in every direction. I have a Dentex Safety Comfort Ease N95 disposable respirator. Let's take a hit. And you can see there was some leakage there. Next, I have a, a leading uh, competitive mask on and uh, let's take a puff and let's see what happens. Same thing. Now I have our uh, Dentec Safety N95 disposable respirator with an exhalation valve. I just would like to show you what will happen when you have a valve version uh, uh, when working in around a virus. And as you can see, air escapes. I would like to talk about the infamous KN95 respirators that were brought to the North American scene when COVID uh, hit and the uh, depletion of N95 disposable respirators occurred. Um, as a company, I made the decision that we would not participate in this product for a number of reasons. Number one, it has ear loops and um, the, the claims were that it provided at least 95% filtering efficiency and uh, an ear loop mask uh, will not be able to obtain the type of seal necessary to be able to meet that requirement. I'm going to conduct the same uh, uh, smoke test that I did with all the other uh, respirator and face mask devices. And I'm going to put on, going to put on the KN95 mask. This is one of the better ones that I've, uh, I've had the opportunity to handle. And I'm going to put it on here, as you'll see. And the first thing I trust that you'll notice are my ears. Um, I have this on for a very short period of time and because of the attempt to try to gain a more substantial seal, they've shortened up the ear loop straps and what's happening is it's causing great discomfort. Now, I can't imagine having to wear this for an hour or two, uh, let alone for the short period of time that I'm uh, using the product and going to be conducting this test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the vape and I'm going to take a puff of it and I'm going to blow out to demonstrate the, fit, the, uh, the fitting capabilities of, uh, of a KN95 uh, respirator face mask, especially this one. 
So before I go here, folks, I can tell you this, is that I'm having a great challenge in getting a seal over the top of the nose uh, bridge area, which is probably the most critical and difficult part to fix. As I speak to you here, I can feel air exiting the face piece, despite my attempt to um, mold the aluminum bar in position. Nonetheless, let's see what happens when I take a pop from the bait. And as you witnessed, uh, there was smoke that uh, protruded in every direction out of the face piece. Over the last few weeks, it's April 27th, we've heard more um, uh, information from various sources, including CDC, that a tight fitting uh, respirator or face mask should be used when uh, protecting against the virus. So when we say tight fitting, folks, one of the things you have to understand, tight fitting should not only be when you do fit testing, and you're not talking and so forth. What it has to uh, also include is tight fitting when it's in use. And that means that when you're talking, when we wear a face piece or respirator of any kind, our face is always on the move. We're talking, we're chewing gum, we're making facial expressions. And what happens with respirators as you're witnessing on this mask is that it starts to creep down the nose. And you can see that my mask started up a little higher and is starting to move. The important thing that we don't realize is that as the mass starts to creep down the nose, in the most difficult place to fit is this area here, the nose of bridge area. I've now, cre I've now created a, I've cracked the seal per se. And as a result of that, when I wear this face piece, I will not be protected uh, against a virus such as COVID. So in continuing on with the conversation uh, regarding the ability for a respirator to stay in position, as I mentioned earlier, um, it has been recommended that a tight fitting face mask of some type to be used when protecting against the virus such as COVID. And as you can see, as I'm talking here, this mask is starting to creep down my face. I'm not having any excessive facial movement and, and it's moving down. Um, one of the things you may, we've all seen is that people end up with a face piece down here because the mask continues to slide and creep down with the opening and closing of the jaw. So folks, in my opinion, uh, I think it's best that you use a reusable um, half mask respirator made out of a elastomeric rubber compound that will provide the airtight seal that is necessary to protect against a virus such as COVID. As you can see, I have facial hair, a goatee, and I did this uh, experiment on purpose because I wanted to show you the effects uh, that can happen when you wear a respirator. Please understand you should not have any facial hair both when wearing any type of respiratory protection, particularly when you're dealing uh, in protection against the virus. Next I'm going to do is I'm going to put on uh, our 400 series half mask and one with the exhalation valve, which is the black one, and then our new NXMD to see what happens. Now I have a 400 series uh, half mask elastomeric rubber, and as you can see I have an exhalation valve. One of the advantages of using a reusable half mask is that every time I put the mask on, I can conduct a positive and a negative pressure check to ensure that I have a, a proper seal. So normally what you can do on a positive pressure check, you just seal up the exhalation port, gently breathe out, and if, there's a, if you have a proper seal, no air will exit the mask. So let me just give you a quick demonstration. No air exits the mask. I can also conduct a negative pressure check by sealing the, uh, the filter cover holes, as you can see here, and gently breathing in. And let me show you how that looks. And as you can see, I have a positive check. Now I'm going to take a, a hit of the vape here, and let's see what happens. Just bear with me a second. And as you can see, it exited the exhalation port and nowhere else in the face piece. Let's go to the next map. We've all seen in the media uh, where healthcare workers have been using a reusable half mask with an exhalation valve, as you see here, and having to put the surgical mask over top uh, to prevent transmission when they breathe out through the exhalation valve. So I'm going to do the same experiment, take the vape, 
and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, one other thing you'll notice when the smoke did exit the face piece, it came out of the side, as you can see, because the exhalation valve was uh, billowing out. But what happened is you didn't see any leak over top of the nose or any, uh, anywhere else in the face seal. So the rubber mask did provide a seal. Uh, however, the surgical mask did not contain the smoke as it exited through the exhalation valve. Let's do that one more time just to make sure that I got it right because we didn't see any smoke exit the mask. So bear with me a second. Here we go. No smoke exited the mask. One thing also, folks, I want to make a point here. This camera is uh, standing approximately um, six feet away from me. The mic is, is uh, approximately two feet from uh, my face. The point I want to make here, we can still communicate wearing the Comfort Air and X-Series respirator. So let's summarize what we just saw here in our little experiment. When we wore a surgical three-ply mask, you saw the smoke exit the face piece in great quantity. When we had our N95 flat fold disposable mask, which is popular in the medical healthcare market. We also saw the smoke exit the face piece. However, it wasn't as much as when wearing uh, a surgical mask. When we wore the cup shape uh, N95 mask, um, as you can see, we did experience some um, of the smoke exiting the face piece. Folks, you have to understand, I've been in the industry 40 years and selling respirators for that length of time. I'm experienced at fitting a respirator, and I know how to do it quickly and what I thought was proper. What we experienced when we wore the Comfort Air NXMD respirator without the exhalation valve, I fitted it very quickly. I was able to conduct a, a proper positive and negative pressure check, and we witnessed that no smoke exited the face piece. That proves that this product will provide the protection needed when fitted properly when working around the virus.